Maxi, Toronto has been chasing you for a long time now, and you're finally a Toronto FC player. Is it uh, good to get the uncertainty behind you now and focus on football? No, la verdad que contento. Creo que, que fue un equipo que me vino siguiendo, y bueno, eso es fundamental. Eh, y bueno, ahora a venir a tratar de aportar lo máximo para el equipo y, y poder conseguir cosas importantes. Um, it's been fundamental for him that Toronto's been after him for quite some time. It shows a lot of character on Toronto's behalf. Uh, now he wants to get here and help out as much as he can, score some goals, and, and get going. Because your name's been in the uh, papers for so long and there's been some expectations built up, uh, you're now going to be thrust in the spotlight. Are you comfortable with that? La verdad que es un desafío más. Me pasó en los clubes que estuve y bueno, creo que la verdad que cuando me toque estar en la cancha, demostrar a la gente la clase de jugador y persona que soy, y bueno, y ojalá como tijante conseguir cosas importantes. It's been a situation right from the get go that he's. Uh been very happy with. He likes being in the limelight, likes being in the spotlight. Uh, he's been in the situation before and he's done very well. Um, he only hopes that the, the fans can be patient with him and, and let, them, let him show the fans what he's got to offer. Eh, un delantero que, que está en el área y que, que le, me gusta salir a jugar atrás, me gusta manejar la pelota y, y colaborar para el equipo. He's a forward who uh, likes to be within the 18 yard box. Uh, but also likes getting the ball from way back uh, in the defensive zone and going on up and just trying to contribute whichever we can offensively. In Major League Soccer, there's been Argentinian players that have come in before and had a lot of success. Christian Gomez, Guillermo Barascoloto. Uh, does he know the exploits that they've had in Major League Soccer and uh, does he feel any pressure to live up to that kind of an expectation? Sí, la verdad que a los argentinos que vienen acá lo, lo, lo sigo y bueno, creo que, que están haciendo un buen papel. Eh, y la verdad que cada vez vienen más jugadores acá y se está haciendo muy importante la liga y, y bueno ojalá que hagamos un buen papel con el Toronto y podamos estar en los primeros equipos. Uh, not only has he followed the Argentinians in the past, but he's also following the Argentinians that are here now in the league and he finds that more and more uh, Argentinians are coming to the league. The league is getting much better, much stronger. And again, he reiterates that he he hopes that he can do what he can to get Toronto ahead and, and up in the top of the charts. One of his countrymen that is already here is Matias Laba. They had a big embrace there in the dressing room and he Matias had a big smile on his face. Is it good to be reunited with him? Sí, sí, la verdad que sí, me tocó cruzarlo en Argentina y la verdad que un jugador importantísimo y bueno, por lo poco que hablé con él, una buena persona y eso es fundamental. Uh, he's had the privilege of crossing paths with him uh, back home, uh, playing against one another, uh, and he's had the opportunity to talk to Mati on uh, quite a few few uh, times by phone and stuff like that. So for him, it's fundamental to have that type of relationship with somebody else here in Toronto. And finally, what is the significance of number 37? La verdad que que arranqué a jugar en profesionalmente vestí ese número y bueno me trajo suerte y por eso lo elegí. Since he's uh, played professional, he's always used that number 37. It's been very lucky for him, so he's going to continue to use it.